the screenplay categories uh, were pretty exciting. Uh, let's talk about the adapted screenplay category uh, with Travis Riley. What did you think, Travis? Um, I was happy to see Whiplash nominated. You know, it's not uh, lots of crazy dialogue or anything like that. It's a tight little film, but I think that's an important part of the screenplay, and uh, happy to see it there. Uh, I have to talk about Inherent Vice. That's one of my favorite movies of the year. I was kind of shocked to see it show up and adapt a screenplay, but I was really happy because obviously PTA is a genius. Um, the Theory of Everything I thought was an incredibly beautiful film, not an easy story to tell. Um, I think a, you know, a lot of exposition and also a lot of slugging. <laughs> it's a very physical performance, so I'm, I'm very impressed for, uh, with it from a technical standpoint and obviously from a performance standpoint. Well, I was stunned that Inherent Vice uh, w was nominated over something like Gone Girl, where I thought Gillian Flynn did a great job adapting her own book. Um, I think, you know, obviously there's been some controversy about the category placement for Whiplash. I think it's going to fare a lot better in the adapted category than the original category, uh, where things kind of went according to plan, guys. I mean, we had Birdman, Boyhood, Foxcatcher, Grand Budapest Hotel, and Nightcrawler. It was Nightcrawler's only nomination. It was nice to see that in there. Exactly. That was definitely my favorite nomination in that category. It's one of the best movies of the year. Yeah, but those were the five best original screenplays, so things went according to plan there. All in all, a pretty good field.